Hi, I'm Matthew Mills, founder of NatureSide. Thanks for tuning in today. Four years ago, I developed the NatureSide products with a team of physicians and biochemists to once and for all protect my family and pets from insects and pests without using dangerous poisons or chemicals. NatureSide pesticide, insecticides, and repellents are made from all natural essential oils. These products are extremely effective and completely safe to use around your pets and family. NatureSide kills and repels bed bugs, cockroaches, ants, fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, termites, silverfish, crickets, spiders, earwigs, fleas, bees, wasps, head lice, and more. The enzymes in our NatureSide products are designed to break down proteins when they come in contact with any insect's exoskeletons. These enzymes react with the pest protein on a cellular level, resulting in premature shedding of the insect's exoskeleton. Our two most popular NatureSide products are our two ounce and eight ounce bed bug sprays. Today, we're gonna to show you how to check into a hotel room, keeping yourself safe from being bit or transferring these pests home with you. Okay, so we're in Los Angeles, the third most trafficked bed bug city in the country. Today, we've just checked into a motel room and we're gonna show you exactly what to do when you get to your hotel. So follow me. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously pull out your nature side bed bug travel spray. Take your suitcase, put it in the bathtub, and leave it there until you can check out the hotel room and make sure you're safe. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to turn on all the lights in the room. Open up the shades, let the light in. Bed bugs hate the light. Moving towards the bed, it's very simple. You're gonna need one of these, a flashlight. Don't travel without a flashlight, a very important piece to checking out if you have bed bugs in your room. So here's how we get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the towel, one of the small towels from the actual hotel, and we're gonna do a couple of tests. And here's the first test, it's a very quick test. Just lift up the sheets, grab the, the bottom of the bed, lift it up, and run the towel along the whole bottom of the bed. If it comes up clean, it's likely there's no bed bugs in this particular bed because that's where they love to hide. So that gets you started in spraying your bed bug spray. You'll take your nature side travel spray. It's an eight ouncer. It's going to last you three, four, maybe even five days, depending on how much you want to use it. And you can use it constantly. So you're opening up your bed. You're spraying inside the bed. Bed bugs hate this. You're going to spray the pillows. You're going to spray them all. You're gonna get the whole back side of the bed board, or the headboard. You're gonna spray all the cracks. This is a non-staining formulation. You can spray this all around the room. This is the best deterrent for your bed bug. And, and get carried away. I mean, you can spray everywhere. Everywhere you want. This will just keep them at bay. If they're here, they're not gonna to wanna to come out, even when it's nighttime, when they travel out the most. And you can do this literally every day. There's enough product in this travel size spray to get you through a few days. So again, spraying liberally. And check under the bed. You can literally spray everywhere under the bed, making sure that there's no bed bugs here. Relatively looking at this bed, it looks like this has had a lot of action. Looks like they've really opened it up. This is where your flashlight comes in. You pull your flashlight out, you get in here, you look into some cracks, see if you see anything hiding out. You know, they're pretty small, but you can see them if they're there. And in this case, it looks like this room is pretty clean. Um, I like to pull things out just a little bit and take a good look. One of the things, and you've seen a few things out there on bed bugs, you know, you don't need to dismantle the bed. It's not necessary. You can see if there's bed bugs just by doing simple inspections. So don't get carried away. Look at the bed, check it out. You know, and, and again, running tests, with your flashlight, checking things out under the bed, wiping, and seeing if anything comes back on that towel. If nothing comes back on that towel, you probably likely don't have bed bugs. Closets are a place where bed bugs like to hide. So you wanna hit them high, hit them low, hit them all over. This is a spot where they're gonna hide out. Yeah, bathrooms are usually safe, but 
bed bugs hide in dark spots. So I traditionally will go underneath the sink, making sure behind the toilet, looking behind the doors, seeing if there's anything there and just hitting it because it's not going to hurt you. This is the time where it's safe to take your luggage out of the tub and put it on your, on your stand. So we're going to take this out and let me show you a couple things. So we've just sprayed through the room, bathroom, closet, the whole nine yards. Now it's time to bring our luggage out. So we got to be careful because this is the number one thing, bed bugs, hitchhiking, and luggage. So wherever we're going to put our luggage, we want to make sure that that area is really treated. In this case, we have this little luggage stand uh, to unpack. So this is where I really get carried away. And I pick this thing up. I spray the bottom of it. I, I really go at it. I spray the floor all around it. Now I'm thinking that this is going to be pretty safe now. And again, it's non-staining. It's not going to hurt anything. So this is where where typically I'm going to put my luggage, I kind of avoid the closet unless I've got formal wear, you know, and I usually have that in plastic. So there usually isn't an issue of a bed bug getting in there. But I usually like to be, you know, in the suitcase, living out of the suitcase when I travel. Okay, so we've sprayed the room, we've pulled our luggage, we're feeling pretty safe. One of the last things I like to look at is furniture. A lot of people skip this, but I don't like to skip it. Spraying the furniture is a very, very good idea because you might want to sit in this chair and who knows what you'll pick up if you fall asleep in the chair. So spraying the chair heavily, dousing it, picking it up, spraying the bottom of it, really getting in there, spraying all the nooks and crannies. You know, you don't need to get carried away. You know, you don't need to take apart furniture or beds. You just need to get the surface areas and get the product out there. They're going to run and hide. They're not going to like the smell. Okay, so you've seen how to use the 8-ounce bed bug spray in your hotel room. You're still feeling kind of, hmm, I wonder if there's any bed bugs here. So we've developed the 2-ounce bed bug spray. The 2-ounce bed bug spray can be sprayed on furniture. It can also be sprayed on yourself. So before you get into bed, you can literally spray this on you. You can put it on your arms. You can put it on your face. This will help prevent the bed bugs from coming to you. They will get to you if they're here and they'll smell this and they'll turn around and march the other way. Well, that's really what the two ounce bed bug product is all about. We've just shown you how to effectively use your nature side bed bug travel sprays. Whether you're staying in a three star hotel or a five star hotel, you need to take preventative measures to keep you and your family safe. If you're interested in purchasing nature side, click on the link below and buy yours today. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Matthew Mills for nature side.